Hello YouTube, it's me HP Zeta here again and I thought I'll share with you something interesting that I'm doing at the moment. Uh, first of all, just excuse me if I sound a bit weird, uh, my f I've got a bit of a flu, my throat is really not that great. So what you're seeing in front of you is an old Mesa T1100. Now, this is a laptop that um, I'm busy restoring at the moment. It's old Pentium 1 150 megahertz MMX. Don't worry about the stick on the size, side, it is actually a MMX. Now, uh, I've been tackling this for the last three days and you'll see stuffies everywhere and everything. It didn't come for hard drive, so initially I had to uh, use some software to load a 120 gig hard drive I had onto there. Um, it was quite a difficult task to do so and I finally got it up and running uh, by hot swapping it with another system that I've got and loading the files and everything else and swapping it back in again. So I had Windows on 8 running and I really needed to upload some files onto the system. Normally it's not too much of a problem, um, you stick in a CD right? Unfortunately this laptop doesn't have a CD-ROM, <laughs> it has a stiffy drive, <laughs> that's it. So, this is an interesting problem. Now, many, many years ago, I used to use Laplink and serial cables. Uh, I used to use both the serial variety and the parallel variety of the Laplink cables to transfer files on all the systems. I'm talking about the 286386 days. Now, looking for all my old documentation, I found the old diagrams I had for a parallel cable. And what you're seeing here, let me first show you Windows is Windows connected via direct cable connection on LPT1 which is the parallel port cable is right there I wonder if I can't, ok as you can see that's the cable there and there's the other port now basically it's made a little uh, pigtail converter cable, one male, one female, I didn't have two males and I didn't have a lot of cable. It's basically an 8 wire bridge where you connect uh, the four, four of the output lines to four of the input lines that's normally used for error codes on the parallel port. So I soldered that up as you can see there. Sorry about the light, I really can't do much about it. Connected to, to a normal straight parallel cable Ran the software, inserted the settings, and I don't know if this will come out that clear, but as you can see on the other computer, it's busy transferring. It's another 25 minutes remaining, and if I zoom out here just a little bit, and you'll see that it takes 25 minutes roughly for 104 megabytes. That's not too bad, all things considering. Uh, I did the math, it runs at about 1 megabit per second uh, instead of 100 megabits like network. And uh, yeah, that actually works pretty well. I do have another secret project over there, another laptop, that I'll be reviewing soon and revealing. Trust me, that one is going to be well worth the wait. <laughs> It's it's special. Very, very special. So, until next time, if you like my videos, please comment, rate, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, until next time, see you guys. Cheers.